Okay, 2200 three cell test. Uh, I don't know whether you can see what I've, what I've done there or not, but the, the little notch that the camera goes in the top and the bottom, I've got it in the top, but not in the bottom. So it's slanted further forwards, and there's just enough space to get that in there, facing well, with that touch in the top. It seems pretty solid. Not ideal, but I needed more tilt than was actually on there. And this is a 2200 three cell test, just to see how well it flies. It's going to be heavy with five inch props, but we'll see. And I fixed the light bar. <laughs> No programmable colours or, or anything like that that I know of. I'll have to have a look in clean flight. I think this is just a single colour, single colour bar. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, it looks pretty dark in there. Because I've got my sunglasses on. <laughs> nope, it still looks pretty dark in there. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's not that bad. The hover point's lower than our with the smaller 1500, but not devastatingly so. So, about 45% is my hover. Now I've adjusted the gains, and it's just a rough guess really, but tuning isn't my strong point, so I've gone for familiarity, and chosen Lux Float, because that's what I tuned a little Ampton F15 with, and actually had really good progress. So I've started uh, a little bit higher on most of my, uh, lower on most of my gains, but that, but I hovered it inside and I needed a lot more D. I'd say that's pretty damn good for me. That wasn't that bad at all. Now I didn't bring my battery tester with me. So I can't tell you what voltage I'm sitting at, but there's, uh, there's no real warmth there. There's a, there's a little bit of warmth in the, in the motors. I can barely feel it.
no, nothing in some of the ESCs that I can I can feel. So the motor's got the hottest and they were just warm. So I wouldn't want to fly it for ages like that, but if you're stuck for a flight, a gentle cruise on 2200s, they work fine. Even on 5 inch props. Okay. Uh, less battery. 3S. Now, there's no sunshade on that. It's surprisingly visible though. It's pretty harsh in the sun. It's shaded, or even side on. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna have a gentle cruise around with the with the screen and see what range that dipole is gonna give us. Yeah, couldn't really see that. <laughs> Slow down, it does all right. Ah, it's lovely, color-wise and light-wise. Definitely more break up with the dipole, but it's not like it's unflyable. And then we'll turn into the light. Ooh, that's not too bad, because there's some light spots as well, but there. That's pretty tough. Pretty tough to see what's going on. <laughs> that 2200 is definitely flying heavy. See, I kept it pointing at the ground a little bit then, and that wasn't too bad. It almost sounds like there's a little beeper on that thing, but it's so quiet that you barely get it. Not bad for a screen. Not bad at all for a screen. 